how to sell travel backpacks on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your own products using this platform. So let's get started first by explaining the platform for you. So guys, Etsy.com is a platform where you can sell your own products or where you, where you can buy other people's products. As you can see in here, we have a lot of products from a lot of sellers. So here, by scrolling down or checking the best sellers of Etsy, you can also check other categories. So as you can see, we have a lot of products in here, a lot of categories. So you can also be one of these sellers. So for example, let's check one of these products like this one. So in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can create a shop page where you can set your product exactly like this one and sell it. So whatever product you have, I'm going to show you how you can create a shop, a shop page for it like exactly this one. How you can add the pictures of your product, how you can add the description, the price, and all of that. So let's just close this tab and then let's go to your right, top right, click on the shop manager button. Then you will proceed to setting up your Etsy shop as you can see in here. So in order to set, to set your Etsy shop, you will need to go through six steps. That starts with the shop preferences, then comes naming your shop, then stocking your shop, then you will choose how you'll get paid, then you will set up your mailing or your payment processors, then you will end with setting up your shop security. So let's start from the first step, which is the shop preferences. And it's where you set the shop's language, the shop's country, and the shop's currency. So for the currency, I'm going to change it from the Moroccan dirham to the United States dollar. Sorry, I clicked in the, in the wrong place. So here, let's change the currency to the United States dollar. Then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step, which is setting a name for your shop. So just type your name, basically the name of the shop, then remove the spaces or any, any other characters you'd have. And as you can see, the name is available. Then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step. And in this step, you add some photos and details about your item. You fill out what you can for now, you'll be able to edit this later. So here guys, before proceeding to adding the photos and details, first click on save and continue. And here you will see all of the required details or all of the obligatory details to fill. So first we have the photos, as you can see, please upload at least one photo. Then you have the inventory where you will need to give your product a price. Then you have the listing details. Also in here, you will have to fill all of these red fields. Then you have the shipping. So here you will have to set all of the shipping settings also. So let's start from the first one, which is photos. And here, add as many as you can, so buyers can see every detail. Use up to 10 photos to show your item's most important qualities. And for some tips, use natural light and no flash. Include a common object for scale. Show the item being held, worn, or used. Shoot against a clean, simple background. Add photos to your variations so buyers can see all their options. Then we have the video. So bring your product to life with a 5 to 15 second video. It could help you drive more sales. The video won't feature sound, so let your product do the talking. And for some quick tips, film wearable items on a model or show a functional item being used. Adjust, adjust your settings to record a high resolution video. Aim for 1080 pixels or higher. Crop your video after you upload it to get the right dimensions. And if you want to learn how to make videos that sell, you can just click on this link. Then we have the listing details. So here you type the title of your product. 
then you answer these three questions who made it the product of course you have three options to choose from choose the one that that fits you then what is it a finished product or a supply or tool to make things let's go with a finished product when did you make it you have three categories to choose from not yet made recently or vintage let's go with recently then you have the category so here just type a keyword or your product's name then you will see a lot of categories to choose from so i'm going to choose the first one black packs then you will have some additional details to fill like the material of your product you can select one of these materials the primary color of the product the secondary color just to give your clients the idea about your product then you have the primary fabric type you can search for one in here the secondary fabric type the style the occasion also you can you can sit one in here then you have the holiday you can also find one in here then we have the renewal options if you want to choose the automatic one which costs 20 cents each time or if you want the manual so i'm just going to go with the manual because it's free then you have the type of your product if it's physical or digital and obviously it's physical then for the description if you want to write or to type a good description for your product make sure to start with a brief overview that describes your item's finest features shoppers will only see the first few lines of your description at first so make it count not sure what else to say shoppers also like hearing about your process and the story behind this item then we have the production partners if you have any you can add them in here fill their details and for the section it's optional i'm just going to leave it for later and the same with the tags and materials then we have the inventory and pricing another required section so for the price make sure to give it a good price so for example let's see 30 dollars then for the shipping settings make sure to fill all of these red fields the origin postal code of your of your residence the processing time you fill the settings of the standard shipping if it's free or a fixed price then you do the same again with everywhere else or if you want to add another location you can add it in here and if you want to add a shipping upgrade you can do that you can do that as well then in the end you have the returns and exchanges policy you can use this one that's it for today's video guys don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends